Black Western Campus is a state campus and in it is the State Laboratory which looks after custom and excise, the Agricultural Laboratory which relates to farming and everything agricultural, the Food Safety Office who look after the quality of food and also what's been built at the present time is a new forensic laboratory which will move here from the Garda HQ in the Phoenix Park. The premises that we took on it, which were the key elements, that it was to be ecological, that it was to be human-centred, that it was to be pleasant but also functional, and also having the same team involved throughout was key to it. When we started this project here 20 years ago, we were bringing a whole pile of laboratories and the type of work people have to do in laboratories is white coat. And what we wanted to do is give a contrast, when they're out of their white coats uh, environment, that the environment that they meet is a, a more green, sustainable environment that's also a pleasant place to work. There was a stream that flowed through here from Adamstown that eventually makes its way a kilometre down the road into the River Liffey. We were conscious that that constantly flooded every year. We developed a number of what they call attenuation ponds, which is where you allow a certain level of water and in flood times, it can take another quantum on top of that. And so when you have that built in, you slow down the flood problem. In 2010, the water got up to the highest level, but we were still able to manage it. So it raised up one level, up two levels, and we can tell by looking at the contour where it is, how much water we're holding. We can let out that in different levels down through a pipe that runs under the road down to the River Liffey. So when people look here, they often think the pond is ornamental. That's only one aspect. It cleans the water, it provides flooding defence, and it has biodiversity and flora and fauna benefits. If you put in certain types of plants, you attract certain types of insects. Insects attract certain types of birds, and you get this chain effect. So what we were very conscious of, that we would plant a, a very diverse type of planting that suited the site and no invasive species. And that's what we try to do here. We, we brought a number of different ideas that are flexible and yet allow a change. So for instance, no soil was taken off site to landfill. All that was kept here on site. And that saved almost four million euros, which we were able to put back into the planting and all the other elements of the site. We were ahead of the curve on that. In total, we've planted 58,000 trees to date. That will save over its lifespan, seven million tons of CO2. So I think we got most things right and we've been evolving and adapting and changing with time and learning from the past to plan for the future. So I think this is a very good exemplar of how a campus can be done for long-term, medium-term and even short-term use. Mm -hmm.